name is Kate and welcome back to my channel Kate's Crates. Today I am entering a contest for Brain Twang's channel. Brian is running a series of four contests over on his channel right now. Um, so I highly suggest you guys go check them out. Um, I'm excited for them. He is a super awesome guy. And he's more into the CDs than the records just because of space and it's just what he's passionate about. But he's still passionate about the music um, and I really enjoy his channel. We have pretty similar um, musical taste, at least um, for some artists. So I highly suggest you guys go check out his channel and enter his contest. The prizes are pretty cool. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. Uh, but for this contest, his first contest, um, it is show three or more just tribute albums, which I honestly had a little bit of difficulty with. I definitely don't have three tribute albums in my collection personally, but I, there is a few that I know of that I really enjoy, um, so I figured I'd talk about those. Um, the first one, I don't know if it really counts. Um, I don't know if it, I mean, it's kind of a tribute. Um, it's more of just a couple covers, but it's the only thing I had in my collection that was close to it, and that is this Brandy Carlisle Record Store Day release, and I thought I'd show it because I know that Brian does like Brandy Carlisle, which is super awesome. Um, but yeah, this uh, came out for Record Store Day, and basically they do, two, Brandy Carlisle does two Soundgarden songs, and she actually teamed up with some members from Soundgarden, but I guess it's more of a tribute to Chris Cornell. Um, Brandy really was influenced by Soundgarden. She grew up in Seattle, obviously, like the grunge scene <laughs> was from Seattle, so um, this is kind of a tribute uh, to Chris Cornell more than anything, and Soundgarden, just like Brandy Carlisle, like, because she appreciates them and was an influence on her. Um, but yeah, this just has two songs, uh, Searching With My Good Eyes Closed and Black Hole Sun. So there's this one. I thought I'd show it because it's the only thing in my collection that I think could kind of count for that one. But I do know of a couple others that I could talk about. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind, like, right away, was a couple years ago, I don't remember, it wasn't too long ago, uh, there was a Elton John and Bernie Taupin um, kind of tribute series. Uh, it was Revamp and Restoration. Um, so I can show pictures of those up here. Talk about Revamp first. Um, that album, uh, I, I heard of it through Lady Gaga at the time I was really following her um, quite heavily. I was getting into her and she did a version of um, our song. <laughs> Obviously everyone knows that Elton John song. So then it prompted me to go check out um, Revamp, which was um, just a cover of Elton John song. So I can tell you some of the players on here. I have it up on my phone. Um, we have Pink, Coldplay, Ed Sheeran, Florence and the Machine, um, Sam Smith, Miley Cyrus, of course Lady Gaga, and some others. So that one was really cool. Um, I enjoyed it. I like Elton John, um, and I like a lot of his songs. So it's kind of cool to hear other artists sing them. Um, typically, I do prefer like the originals, but sometimes I will say I do like like covers um, and tributes better, especially um, if it. I don't know, some voices for me are really hard to get into. Bob Dylan's that way, although I have kind of grown into liking him. But I, I think hearing covers sometimes help me helps me get into an artist, um, if that makes sense. So the next album, this was kind of like a two-part release, was Restoration. Um, so this was just, like I said, this was um, tri a tribute to Elton John, who obviously did like all the arrangement um, and was the performer, um, and Bernie Toppin who wrote like almost all their songs. It is honestly one of the best partnerships in music, in my opinion, ever. Um, just think about all the amazing things that they did together. Um, but Restoration, I actually heard of this one through Miranda Lambert, who I really like. Um, she did a really awesome cover of My Father's Gun. Um, really good. I highly recommend you guys go check that one out. But some of the other players, the Restoration side was more of like the countryside. Um, let me pull it up here. Um, let's see, we had Little Big Town, Maren Morris, Brothers Osborne, Vince Gill, Casey Musgraves, Dolly Parton, um, Willie Nelson, just some awesome, awesome players on that, or awesome artists on that, um, the revamp side of things. So that is another one. And then the third one I thought of is also Brandy Carlisle. I had to do it because I know Brian does enjoy Brandy Carlisle. Um, and that is Brandy Carlisle's cover stories. Um, so this was put out for the 10th anniversary um, of her album, The Story, and she got a whole bunch of players to basically um, cover that album, and all of the money went to charity uh, for War Child. Uh, and I think, I actually just watched Brandi Carlisle's The Story live stream last night, and they've raised to date uh, more than a million dollars for War Child on that charity there. Um, and if you still buy either the CD or the vinyl to this day of that record, it does go to charity still. So I think that's super cool. Um, I can let you guys know the players on that. There is some big names, I will say. 
Um, so here I had it pulled up on my phone here just so I can kind of tell you guys who is on it. Um, there is, uh, you know, uh, this one big country artist that you may or may not have heard of, Dolly Parton. She does the story. Um, Old Crow Medicine Show, The Avett Brothers, Anderson East, The Secret Sisters, The Indigo Girls, um, Gotta Love Them, uh, Margot Price, Pearl Jam, and for the last song on the album, you may, may or may not have heard of her, um, Adele actually did a song on there. Um, it was actually a hidden track on the story originally, and Adele kind of brought it out of hiding um, for Hiding My Heart, last song on the track. Uh, so yeah, it's a super cool uh, tribute um, album, and it was kind of a charity project, so I thought that was really neat. Um, and yeah, I, I can you can actually still find that on vinyl, and since the regular story is so hard to find, I might just have to buy that because it helps charity and... Um, it also just has some cool artists on there. Uh, so yeah, that is what I could think of for the contest for the tribute albums. Brian, thank you so much for running this contest. Guys, go check out Brian's channel. He's super awesome, and I think you guys will enjoy his content. Um, uh, that's all I have for you guys today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, leave this video a like, and have a good one, guys. Peace out.